And Jackie, I just turned on the record, so uh, when the clock hits two, it's all yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to tell me another minute or so then? Yeah, we'll just give it another minute. Okay, perfect. Hey, Kara, my clock says two. Are we good? Yep, you're good to go. Okay. Uh, welcome, everyone, to OneNote Extended or OneNote 102 or OneNote Part 2, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope that you were able to join us for the first uh, OneNote. And if not, um, I believe the recording is up now, and so you can go back and, and watch it. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about kind of what today is going to look like. Um, I have a couple slides to show you, and then really I just want to get into OneNote and show you um, a bunch of cool and interesting um, tips and tricks and ideas that I think are really neat and hope that you do too. So most of it is I have notes sitting beside my computer that I might just kind of uh, take a pause to look through to make sure that I've gotten everything that I want to cover in the, our half hour together. So um, a little bit about the journey for those of you uh, who haven't um, heard it before is I used to be um, a paper lover. I have all, I, well, I still do. I still love all my paper and my pens and I had notebooks for every project that I worked on and every group that I was a part of. And so about four and a half or five years ago, I switched to digital and it was a huge, um, it was a huge jump for me. Uh, for somebody who had all my pens and papers and brought my notebooks everywhere. And so we just have three blog uh, blog posts on the Compivision blog, and these will um, come out after in an email from Kara, just about kind of my journey, how I went from um, these notebooks to a digital platform. And I have to say that four or five years later, I absolutely love it. So those of you who um, weren't here, we're just going to review quickly. Um, we'll send this out uh, as well. Um, just things that you can do uh, with OneNote. There's a bunch of basic ideas. You can insert files and printouts to make notes on. You can have tags and create to-do lists. You can create templates. You share your OneNote um, and there's some other cool stuff. So um, we're just going to get into some of that stuff that is um, beyond that or different than this so that we can really make use of our 30 minutes together. So sharing notebooks. So you can have a OneNote that's just for you or you can share it with others, or you can put it in an area of SharePoint that is automatically shared with others. So I have um, OneNote in OneDrive that are just mine. And so for each of those I have, for every group or board that I'm a part of, I have a OneNote notebook. And because I can save them in OneDrive, they'll sync between my computer and between my tablet. So I have an iPad that I use all the time, and I load up my agendas and my notes and then I can go off to my meeting. I can make all my notes and then they sync to my OneNote on my computer. So it's really quite powerful just to save your OneNote in OneDrive so that they sync across devices. As well, I have a OneNote um, called Training Culture and Engagement that I shared with my boss, um, David, and we were meeting every single week for a couple of years. And on there we had I had a David tab and I had a running agenda so that he could add things and I could add things. So when we sat to meet together, we knew what we needed to go through and talk about. As we were planning our leadership um, program and our leadership course, then he was able to add content and I was able to add content and then I was able to um, archive it as, as we used it in the course. So it really was quite powerful. You could also have OneNote on a team site. And so that's notebooks which would be need uh, to be accessed by an entire team. And so we have one, for our HR team on our team site. We actually have a couple. One holds all our level 10 um, information, which is our weekly meeting. And so it has all the agendas and it has our notes and our projects and everything that goes in there. We also created one recently for a talent funnel so we can start to compile um, information on people um, who are interested in CompuVision. And you can also host one just in general SharePoint. That would be things like maybe a company-wide information wiki is one that I read about, but it would be accessed by everyone. Uh, some of the uses for notebooks. So I have them to store all my notes so I don't carry binders around anymore with um, agendas and minutes and documents related to the different groups that I'm a part of. I also have a OneNote when I did renovations so that I could keep all my information about that renovation together. 
You can use them to manage team meetings. So you can add agendas and information that the team needs. You can use it, I read, tracking projects. So you can create um, for each tab for a project. You have an overview page, a task page, and communication page. You could create a company wiki. You can track repeatable processes with checklists. Um, the one I thought of was like onboarding new employees so that you create a one note that's shared with the people who have part in that procedure and they can all check off their, their parts to it. You can also create notes in a meeting and then email that page as a PDF. So those of you who are in sales or do um, have meetings with clients, this is really uh, quite a powerful and I'm gonna show you how to do that today too. These are some of the things that we're going to do. So I'm just going to go through and um, start just showing you things, and then we'll come back to these after. So this is my test and training um, notebook, which is the one that I use for training because the other ones are all full of all sorts of other information. But to share a notebook, you just go to File, Share, and it will connect. So if I start to type, I don't know if Brandon's on the call, but. I can share with Brandon. I can write him a note. Hi, Brandon. We can use this for training. I can choose whether he can edit it or whether he can just view it. I said, okay, he can edit that and I'll click share and he'll get an email about that. And then I can see at the bottom that it's shared with um, Brandon. And so he has access to this too. So if you're doing a team, all you have to do is in your team site is create a new notebook under documents. Um, it'll say new and you can create a Word document, an Excel document or a OneNote notebook. So it's really quite easy to do it, um, to create them and share them. So um, one of the things we talked about was a level 10 agenda. So this is our weekly meeting agenda. It's the same agenda and we just populate it with information. So each week we take this um, and we all have access to it. So if I've been looking through and I know there's a customer headline, uh, company X, um, the EO just promoted. I can add that in there and then we can all populate it. We all have access to this. We can all populate it. Oh, I had a task to do. Okay, I did that. And I can add, oh, you know what? There's an issue. There's an issue number, we'll call it issue number three. I can add that in there, right? And so then each week we just right click, click copy. It'll add me where, ask me where I want to. It defaults to the current section. I can click copy and it'll add a new one. I can go in, we change that date from May 21st to May 28th. And then we have our new, our new agenda item set up. So uh, that's one way of, of using it. You can create um, the team notes with them. I talked about sharing the notebook with my boss. They also talked about managing a project. So I create a tab here called project one and then create the pages. I created an overview page, a task page and a communication page. So a task page might say here are the tasks that we need to do. And then we can create our to do tag. One task two, task three. And then people can, different people can check them off as they're done. And you could create and you're, you could, under communication. If you had standard communication that you used, you could create that there um, and have it here so that you can just copy and paste it into a new email. Or if you wanted to create um, save client communication, I'll show you how to do that um, in a little bit. You can also create template pages, which I think I did uh, here. So right here, this is an onboarding checklist that I had created when I was onboarding new employees. And so all the things that I needed to know to make sure that we did, along with a couple of the emails that I sent them um, often, so I didn't have to go in and dig those out every time. They were really handy. So if I go to insert page templates, and just click page templates, then that'll bring up a little sidebar here. And I can save this, so save new template, save current page as template. I'm gonna create, call it onboarding checklist. have the option to set this as a default template page for all new pages in this one section. So I can click save. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do because I changed it, let's say. And then every time I add a new page, it will add that whole page there. So for something that's repeatable, then this is really, really a great um, idea that you can do. The other thing you can do, I'm just going to go back to my training tab. 
is you can, if I add a page, I can add any of these templates that are already here. So I can, I have my templates here. If I have an academic one, oh, maybe some simple lecture notes, or I want, there is, you know, I can have a decorative, a blue stripe page, and you can create your own. Or there is like some of the planners. You can create a simple to do list, right? And just it'll populate that in for you. So those templates are really good. So if I want to create a section, right? I can create and right click and click new section group, and then I can call it um, project, right? And then I create it projects too. And then let's say as I finish this project and I want to archive it, I can move it. And I can move it. It'll show me all my OneNotes, so it's really easy to move pages and sections around and I can move it into projects to move. And then it will live there. I can click this little arrow to go back. So as I finish projects or, or have sections that I don't need anymore, I can archive them. And so you may want an archive section group or um, a general title that they'll all fit into. You can also, uh, let's go back to this project. See this little arrow it shows me I can go back here. So I can go back to my projects too. Now let's say I had a whole bunch of different communications. Right here's like a bunch of, let's say it's an email one, two, three, right? Email one that I send to a client, email two. Oops, let's get up here. And if I want to group all this together, if I go up, to this and click on this and right click it and click make sub page, it will put it automatically underneath this. And I can keep doing that, make sub page. And the power to this is I can clean up. So when I hover over communication, there's a little arrow. And if I click this, they all disappear up there. So I can still keep this really, really clean, yet have access to all the communication that I need when I want to. So, how many of you, and I can't see you, so this is going to be a little awkward, but how many of you um, use sticky notes, like physical sticky notes? You write a note on a sticky note and then you stick it on your desk or on your monitor or on your on your wall. Um, OneNote allows you to create a digital grouping of, of sticky notes. So if you go Control, Control N, I, I've been hitting Control L or Windows L, Windows N, it creates a, one, a little sticky note and I can go, I want to remember, remember to buy bread, milk, cheese, All right? And then if I, I just close it, and let's say there's another one, um, create blog post for Kara, All right? So as I think of things, as long as I have OneNote running, I can do that Windows, Windows N, and I can put all my thoughts in there, and then I can organize them later. So if I go here, which is how I switch between um, different notebooks. These are the notebooks that I have. And I go to Quick Notes, then here's where they all are, right? So here, remember to buy bread, milk, and cheese, create blog posts for Kara. And I can move this page if I want, then move. And I can put it into training, or I can go down here and I can put it um, test and training, and I want to put it under made training. Then I can move it or copy it. So I'm going to move it. Then I'm going to go back to that test and training page. And here you go. It's one of my to do's create blog post for Kara. So as you're thinking of things, you can add them and then you can just move them around later and clean it up. Right. So that's a really I think that's a powerful tool. So you don't have to stop and and grab something and then you can um, organize it later. So. One of the things that you can do that's kind of cool is under here I can go insert screen clipping. And what it'll do is it'll allow me to go wherever I want and create. I can go here. Ah. Okay, it lost me. Insert screen clipping. And then if I want, I can whatever I want to create there and it'll create that screenshot right there in my OneNote. So I, it's a way to go. If you're seeing things on the internet, you can go through that um, and you can quickly add them into your OneNote. Another option is to download. Um, it's, it's I think it's called a web clipper for OneNote. If you search web clipper, then um, for OneNote, it'll come up. 
And it what it does is. Oh, I had my Brene Brown. That's what it was. See this little N here? It's this is my web clipper clip to one note. So I can click this and it will let me clip um, a full page part of it. If I want just the article, it'll create just the article or I can screenshot just a, a chunk of it and then it'll ask me where I want to do it. Where do you want to put it? And I'm going to put it under test and training and I'm going to put it. Um, oh, it's not going to. Doesn't want to come down this far. So I'll just put it under. Um, test and training. Ah, doesn't want to come down this far. Put it under training. Clip it. It'll say it'll take a second or two and then it'll say, do you want to look at it in OneNote? So you can view it in OneNote. It'll show you um, online. It, then it takes just a few minutes for it to actually sync through to um, through to the actual page the, the, on your on your computer, right? But see there, it's just it's put the article there and I can have access to it. And also you'll notice at the top, it's actually take it, shown you exactly where you've taken it from, which is really, really cool. So let me just look. Um, so Office Lens. Office Lens is something that's kind of cool. Office Lens is an app for your phone or your device um, that's synced and works with Office 365. So in it, you can take, it accesses your camera and you can take a picture of a whiteboard and then send it to OneNote. And what it does is how many of you have ever taken a picture of a whiteboard and it's always on a weird angle and you have weird glares, right? So every time. So what it'll do is it'll change the contrast automatically and square it up so it looks like a good picture. It doesn't look like you've taken it on this weird angle. Um, I don't know, depending, I can never seem to get it um, always to take a picture uh, square. So OneNote or um, Office Lens will clean that up for you and then you can send it right into OneNote. The other thing that's really cool is you can say this is a business card. And then I'm just gonna, it puts it in a different, um, your default notebook is your name at your organization. So what it did was I took two, I was playing uh, last night. So this is a OneNote um, or Office Lens. I took this picture, I said it's a business card and then it put it here. And so what it did is it pulled out the information here. There's a picture of a business card, but the really cool thing is I can open this and it will open as an Outlook contact card. And if I click save and close, they're automatically added to my contacts. So no more manually entering in all those business cards that you get when you go to um, an, an event. All you have to do is you don't need to take the business card if you don't want, you can just take a picture and then you can go through and add them all later. Um, it's It works pretty well. Um, I tried Glenn's. Now Glenn's business card, if you go back and look at it, it says, it says Maine instead of phone and so it doesn't necessarily pick this phone number up but I tried mine and because my it says direct it pulled that up let's see open this so you, it pulled that up and added it into phone number so you may have to add one or two things but it sure beats um, adding a whole all those contact cards so for those of you in sales who go to networking events um, this I would say would be worth it um, for sure I already have both the people in my contacts, so I'm going to go back to my other my test and training. So one tastic is another really, really cool um, add in for um, OneNote. You can Google search one tastic and I think it's get one and you can download it and then it gives you a plethora of, of things that you can add in. So what I was looking for when I found when I found one tastic was the ability to add a calendar and so here it is. It's in my one tastic, right? See, it says one tastic section. Insert monthly calendars. I want it to 2020. I want May, Sunday. Starts on Sunday. And then it would add this calendar. And so I could put in here, um, I used to track birthdays and anniversaries that I didn't want. I wanted a calendar view, but I didn't want it to clutter up my Outlook calendar. So I might say Brandon's birthday is not. And I might say, okay, the 14th is Kara's anniversary. Right, so I can just take that and I can add this kind of stuff and I can monitor it um, as a calendar, right? So you might want to do this for project tasks or for events for your team. And so you can, it's really quick and easy to do that. So for those of you who meet with clients, if you set up a new notes here, 
and you can click meeting details and it says, OK, here are my meetings that are in my Outlook calendar. So one out extended training. That's the meeting that I'm in. And I click that and it will it'll give me the meeting date. It'll tell me who the participants were and then I can add my notes. Note one, note two, I might go follow up. Members to do this. Then what I can do is under file. I can click send. And I have the option just to email the page or I like this one send as PDF. So if I click send as PDF, it automatically sends it to the people who were in the meeting so I can delete them if I don't want. It has the name of the and it has the, the OneNote or it has a PDF of that page. So if I open this, you can actually see the OneNote exactly as it is. So those of you who meet with clients and need to send follow up notes, this is a really, really great way uh, that's quick and easy to, to do that. OK, we're going to close that. Uh, no. Back to OneNote. Oh. Um, so I've done this where I've gone and taken meeting notes um, from uh, various. Somebody's asked me if I would take meeting notes for them, and then before I leave the meeting, I can just click um, send, and before they get back to their office, they have all the meeting notes. And so it's really quite powerful um, to be able to, to, to do that. So there is a drawing. This works really well when you're on your tablet, so I use this all the time on my iPad. You can create, you can do your pens. I can change my color and thickness. Now I have um, no skill with a mouse, so that might look that would look way better if I was making my notes, right? I can highlight, right, which is way easier with a pen than a mouse, right? And I can um, add these different things. The trick is I can have an eraser. It asks me, do I want a small eraser or a medium eraser? I'm just going to email. Like this. The trick is, I've discovered, is to make sure you go back to typing because it doesn't just automatically realize and then you're erasing everything that you're touching or you're highlighting whatever you're touching. So this works really well for your um, when you're on your tablet. What else it can do is I already created this. So I wrote this on my tablet. It's synced to my computer. Now if I click here, let's see if this will recognize this. OK, and if I right click, I can go treat selected ink as handwriting. And then I can go ink to text and it will create it will take my writing, which wasn't exactly nice and put it into text, which is really powerful. So for those of you who want to take notes on a tablet but want it to um, go to text, then that's a really, really quick and easy way of doing that. Um, you can click this lasso select. And then it selects it all and you can move things around. Now, the other thing I found that was kind of cool is if I go like this, oh no, go back to text or typing. If I click like this, so those of you who like to write math equations, um, so probably not a ton of math teachers on this call, but um, if you're helping your kids, it's way easier to write out math equations than it is to try and do them on the computer. So I wrote this one out and then I can click ink to math. And it will say three plus three is nine. Yep, that's right. And it will convert it right to that. So this one I did because it was a little trickier. I wanted to show you how you can correct it. So ink to math. So it thinks this two that isn't written very nice is whatever math symbol this backward six is. But I can click select and correct. And I, if I click this, it will give me different options. So I want number the number two, two x plus three y equals, and it will convert that to um, to, to text. So another thing, the power of OneNote and especially on the Office 365 um, platform is, ar is around the ability to search. And so you can click, um, you can, there's an option if you go to file options um, and then audio and video, you can click this enable searching of audio and video recordings for words. So if you insert an audio recording or a video recording, it will then index those and you can search the the words that are being um, literally that are being said. You can also it will index um, photos. But the other thing you can do is click pictures. And I had my my Brene Brown. 
integrity definition, which is one of my favorites. And if I click this and then right click it, I can go copy text from picture. And if I right click and click paste, it will then. Right, integrity is choosing courage over comfort, choosing what is right over what is fun, fast or easy, and choosing to practice our values rather than simply professing them. So it takes the text from within a picture and creates text that you can then manipulate and use. So um, another thing that you can do um, under, is it under draw? Is it, it's, I keep moving, I keep losing it all the time. Um, under view, you can change your paper type. So if you know that you are going to be writing, you can click, you can put ruled lines. I want big ruled lines, or I want small ruled lines, or maybe I want graph paper. I can change the page color. Let's say I want it yellow, and I can even change the um, page rule lines. I can change the color of the rule lines. Maybe I want them red, red on, right? So that I can create these different pages and it doesn't default to one of these, then you could add that. Um, I'm just looking, I think we've mostly covered it. Oh, there was just one more that I was gonna show you. So, uh, one of the things that you can do is, this is just an email that I wanna save. So if I go to file and print, one of the options will be, I can send it to any printer I want, but one of the options is send to OneNote. So I can click that and I will print it. And then if I go back to OneNote, it will ask me, where do I wanna put that? So I wanna put it in my training section and it will do that. So it creates this printout. So then I can change that to be the title of Pat Lencioni. to save client communication but don't know what to do with it all this is a really great way and then again if i wanted to have a, a, a title called um, communication or ideas i could make these sub pages and they would all just sit there and then i could collapse them and they would be it would be quite clean so i know that lots of people use it for that so i'm just looking through i think i've caught everything that i wanted to kind of go over which is good because we're just about out of time so i'm going to go back to this so some of the tips that you can use, you can create template pages, which is great for repeatable checklists. You can have multiple templates and you can have them as default in different sections. You can create handwritten notes to text. You can embed different files, audio, video, and make that content searchable. You can insert a photo with text and then export that text. Um, and you can add in, there's um, add-ins like the OneNote Web Clipper and OneTastic are really, really great. So we have some upcoming training. Uh, coming uh, coming up on um, next week we have cybersecurity presentation um, then what to consider to keep my business working in a work from home environment June 10th the adaptability quotient and June 17th technology uses for marketing teams so um, you can follow us on Twitter at CompuVision Biz or I'm at Jackie Surgeoner and I'll stick around for a few minutes if people have uh, questions and I'm gonna just stop sharing my screen so that I can see people and I can see the chat and I really um, hope that you enjoyed it and that you got some uh, good information out of it. If you need to go, then uh, I hope you have a really wonderful afternoon. I hear it was raining in Calgary. It's not quite raining in Edmonton, so hopefully the weather isn't uh, too bad wherever you are and that you're able to enjoy the rest of the day and the rest of your week, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Thanks. <laughs>